from renewable and sustainable technologies, the energy sector has been availing itself of new technology. Project manager, the United Kingdom engineering firm Jacobs, Omkar Sitahal, highlights some of the high-tech solutions being employed in the sector. 3D printing, for example. So how 3D printing works is basically you just um, use a specific uh, geometric model that you would create you know, from some type of design software. And what that does, it, it allows you to create printed instructions, um, basically to, to print layers of a specific item. And by item, I mean like a specific part or a specific tool. Mr. Sitahal shares how 3D printing benefits the industry. How this benefits a lot of companies is, is in terms of remote access. So let's say, for example, you have work being carried out on a remote site or even on a rig, for example. Um, having that 3D printing solution available to you there allows you to basically print a specific part that might be needed for critical operations so you minimize downtime. He described some additional advantages of 3D printing for companies. It also helps with, with the company not having too much inventory of components, spares, um, so that minimizes cost. Um, it also helps from a logistical perspective. Um, as you know, um, if you have to carry things, you know, uh, the further the distance, it's more likely it's going to be a lot of cost, right? Um, especially if it's going to be like across borders as well, it will be a lot of cost. Another high-tech solution? Especially in the engineering design phase is uh, the digital twins technology. And what that is, is it's basically um, creating like a simulated environment of a specific facility or rig, whatever it may be. Um, and the intention of it is to is to be able to allow the engineers to to interact with that environment, right? So you're able to do like what if scenarios. The project manager says there are other technologies being used to solve problems. By extension, what we do a lot now is utilize uh, AR and PR. Um, and when I say that, I mean um, specifically like augmented reality and virtual reality. So, for example, um, in terms of VR. We use VR a lot on the front-end side. He explains how the technology is being used. We are able to create an environment similar to the digital twin environment that I mentioned. Um, but in this case, we allow the engineers to be able to have one-to-one -one interactions with the environment. So they're able to manipulate things in that site um, and, of course, run different scenarios in there. He adds, What we can do with AR is actually uh, place 3D models in that real-world environment. So if it is you have like some type of equipment you want to test or you want to see how it fits in a specific area in that real world environment, you can place those objects in there. And it really allows for quicker decision making um, and allows for you to really understand what the space is like. I am Terri Ann Brown Campbell and this is Evolving Energy.